Why do people cry? Unlike animals, humans are unique in crying when they're emotional or despondent. Other animals don't show their feelings with tears, though my dog's lonely eyes might make me think otherwise. Now imagine this, you fall face first into a gigantic bucket of mud. You can't see anything. What on earth are you going to do? Well, you could cry. The physiological reason we cry is simple. It's to cleanse our eyes. Our eyes breathe by grabbing oxygen from the air, not from our bodies. That means they also collect dust and grit from the air. To cleanse this rubbish out of our eyes, the human body evolved to have a little salty shower for them. Tears contain salt, which is excellent at sanitizing our beautiful eyeballs. So the first reason we cry is practical. Nobody wants filthy eyes full of muck and dirt. The second reason we cry can be beautiful or terrible. We cry in response to our emotions. These moments occur when your entire body feels angry, content, or despondent. It's all in your head. Human emotions are powerful and originate from the brain. Now, think about when a kid falls or bumps their head on a shelf. They don't cry immediately. They fall, lie on the ground for a few seconds, and then they burst into tears. Why? The brain produces hormones, which are like juices. Apple juice tastes sweet. Lemon juice tastes sour. They make you feel differently. When a kid falls, their brain produces more or less of certain hormones. With more dopamine, you feel far happier. With less, you feel a bit despondent. When you have large amounts of certain hormones, your brain tells you to cry as a natural reaction to the hormonal cocktail your body is making. Crying gets attention. Crying makes your face wet. I know, it's awful. People notice. It's terrible. You feel terrible. People around you ask if you're okay. And that is why we cry. By crying, we show people around us how we feel, and we are asking for help and comfort. 70% of how we communicate is with body language. Crying is a way to say, help me, without speaking. It alerts your parents or protectors or guardians to your needs. As you get older, you cry less because you need less protection than you did as a child. Puppies whine and baby monkeys cling to their parents for the same reason. We all seek attention and love. So, three reasons why humans cry. We cry to cleanse our eyes, to clean them of all of the detritus and rubbish that gets in there. The second reason is we cry because we have emotions and tears are heavily connected as a response to those emotions. And the third reason we cry is because we want mom and dad to come running and wrap us up in their arms and make us feel better. Those are the three reasons why humans cry.